Meet DC's new 5th Dimensional Imp, Night Mike, Nightwing, issue 98. So we go to Blood Heaven right now and we see this girl right here, right? She hears somebody calling her name. She like, it's not real, it's not real. They're like, oh, it's very real, Olivia. And we're coming for you. Your time is almost up, and she crying. Then we go to Gotham in the woods, and we see Nightwing, and he asking, who the hell is this dude that was supposed to be uh, uh, Rick Grace? Him when he got shot in the head. Nightwing was like, look, I ain't got time for this shit. Who the fuck is you, bro? And he was like, oh, all right. He turned into his uh, younger version of his He's like, man, what the fuck is going on? Who are you? He said, I'm just your biggest fan, bro. Always want to meet you. Thanks. That clarifies things. Who are you? I'm Night Mike. He was like, you're a fifth dimensional imp. He started geeking out like, yes, man, you're so charismatic and pretty. I can't believe I'm actually meeting you. He was like, look, bro, this shit ain't the right time. I'm on a, I'm on a date with Batgirl. He said, you ain't tied up with no mob ball? He said, no. Batgirl was like, you got an imp? He was like, please don't find this shit entertaining. She was like, too late. Nightwing was like, Batgirl? Wow. I mean, I usually ship them with Starfire. But whatever makes them happy, I guess. She was like, excuse me? Then they was like, hold on. Don't y'all got this thing where y'all trying to figure out if y'all trying to get together? How about we hurry up and speed this shit up? Then he was like, Mayday ass finna get married. And he brought everybody there. He was like, no, no, not yet, not yet. He was like, what's wrong, bro? You don't want to be like this unhappy motherfucker right here. Batman was like, you develop an imp. He was like, wait, you're Batman, you really here? He was like, look, he might be an asshole, but even he won't skip your damn uh, your wedding. Batman was like, I ain't got time for this. There's a triple homicide. Night Mike was like, ah, shut up. I don't understand what Bat Mike sees in you. Get your ass out of here. He was like, hold on, I got a treat for your dog. Bite wing. Don't you want to see what it is? Did you see that when I got the dog? Bitewing is a rear bear, undeniably adorable. But yes, we're sure. Ah, uh, get your ass out of here too, bad girl. So we go over to Bloodhaven, uh, and we go to Blockbuster's built. He supposed to be dead. Night, uh, Mike said, Blockbuster been be gone forever, but he's left trouble behind. Years ago, Blockbuster made a deal with the devil Nero. He asked for greater intellect. Which I guess if he had greater intellect before he asked for it, he would have had uh, imagination to ask for a bit more. The upshot is he sold his soul. At some stage years later though, Neuron renegotiated his deal. He sold someone else's soul. His firstborn, her name is Olivia. She's your biggest fan, Nightwing. Well, I'm actually your biggest fan and I invite her to my fan club. We have shirts. Then he told him, with Blockbuster gone, Neron is here to collect. He's sending the horde of demons. Nightwing was like, you got all this power to alter reality. Why can't you save him? He said, I'm not a hero like you, and I can't be evolved directly. Neron is pretty serious when it comes to souls. A war between the underworld and the fifth dimension? That can end very badly. He said, what I can do is give you an amp. When the time comes, use this phrase of power to activate it. You gotta be kidding me. What? Can I please have another phase of power? It's too late. They already here. But don't trip. You won't be alone. As you see Bitewing come through with his super suit. And he can talk. He tells Nightwing that he been a good owner to him. He loves him. So they go up in there to try to go get the girl right. And they see that everybody already knocked out. So they hurry up and they're like, hey, let her go. As you see the demons trying to get, get uh, Olivia. The demon grabbed fucking Nightwing. And he was like, this soul belongs to Neuron. Don't make me say it. Say what? Nightwing is awesome. Stay away from Olivia. Then he threw that bitch at his ass. Hero! Stop her now or I'll break her before I turn her over to Neron. Olivia, I won't let them take you. You're gonna be okay. You're right. I am going to be okay. That girl strong as hell because her dad's strong. So after that, uh, Nightwing calls up Raven to take on the girl. And Night uh, Raven was like, you got an imp? He's like, don't get me started. Raven was like, don't worry. My dad is a monster too. You're going to be safe with me. Olivia tells Nightwing thank you. And she also tells Bitewing thank you as he tells. Arr! Then Nightwing was like, before you go. We never would have known where you was uh, in danger without Night Mike. He's a hero. Night Mike was like, I'm not a... As she comes in and hug him like, thank you, Night Mike. He's like, eh, 
It was my pleasure, Olivia. And then they took off. Nightmare was like, that was nice. Nightwing was like, you not like the others I met. Night Mike was like, thank you. I've seen how annoying Bite Mike and Mixie can be, and I don't want to be like that guy. I've been watching for years. I tried to learn a thing or two. Night Moon was like, what's your name? He said, you forgetting shit? My name's Night Mike. He said, no, nah, what's your real name? Because I shouldn't be your whole identity. If you have, uh, if you have impossible expectations of me, then at some point I'm not going to meet them. It's okay to be a fan, but you shouldn't put anyone or me on that big old test. I'll go first. My name is Dick Grace. He said his name is Dixon. And they ended by him saying, there's a hole in this city. There's a hole in this world. And I honestly think who can f you can feel it. Night Mike ends it by saying, there's a hole in the city. There's a hole in the world. And I honestly think you can feel it. You want to know why? Because Nightwing is awesome.